Hi guys! Let me do something first. Because I can take off my mask today. Um, so sadly, as you might have assumed already with this video, I will not be able to be with you in person today because of the current situation we're having with COVID. Trust me when I say that I would have been delighted to be with you all today, see your smiling faces, how excited you are that you have graduated. Congratulations for me and my two beautiful sons, Gabriel and Noah, on this enormous achievement. You can be extremely proud of yourself, your work, and your commitment towards your future. It is important now that you do not forget that one person can change the world. One person can change policy. One person can change law. One person can change the health system we're living in. We need you, each one of you, and every single skill you have to provide to society, to your community, in your countries of origin, or here in Luxembourg, wherever you decide to continue. What is really important that you don't forget is that whatever you do, become the best at it. Don't try to fit in too many things at the beginning. You can diversify while you are in the profession, but before the profession, try to really think, what do I want to do? Make a list, ask your friends, ask your family. Find a mentor who can tell you what you're good at and look at that a little bit more in detail. Always keep strong to your core values. And I think here at Saint Georges, you have learned these key values in depth. I have been speaking here about kindness. And I know that the school values all of these um, core values as you, yourself, and your families. So never compensate on that. It is so important. And we need, we need leaders of the future, people like you, who have integrity and lead with the heart, being specialized, being precise, but always remaining kind, compassionate, and always having an ear to listen, more listening than speaking. I have two last points for you. Never underestimate the power of your past. Where are you coming from? What made you, you? Always use your past and what you have learned in the past, the people you have met, to path your future. It gives you a good indication on what you're good at, what you know is needed in the community, in your tribe. A tribe can be two people, a tribe can be 100 people. No matter how big your tribe is, you yourself know what you want to do already and how you can help the people around you and what they need. So. Never underestimate the power of your past and be proud where you're coming from. So before I leave you now, I have a little bit of homework for you. So I will order you all to do something which will be so fun and I promise you it to be life-changing. I myself have done it as well. I have spoken about it on my TEDx talk and it is about creating a, a booklet with a list a list of people where I want you to every day meet one more person. A person you don't know, a person in the train, at the bakery, at the gas station, in school, um, at an event you're going, uh, when you're at university, in the university bar, wherever it might be, a teacher, um, someone you met online, um, a celebrity you always wanted to write to, a politician, whatever it is, you, you do or you want to do, reach out to these people and just speak to one stranger a day and ask them about their life. Ask them what made them the way they are, why they work where they work, how they like it, and what did they do to get there? What were their hurdles? How did they overcome it? Because as you will know, and as you probably will have already experienced in your short lives, Life is not always a cupcake, isn't it? It might look good, it might smell good, but sometimes it can, there can be some eggshells in the dough, right? And so don't be scared of that because without obstacles you will not grow. So don't be afraid of the things you don't know, in, in short, right? 
So, in order to know the people, the, the things you don't know, do this list for 30 days, every day, and write about it. It will change your life forever. I really, really, really encourage you to do that. And uh, keep in touch. I would love to hear what comes out after these 30 days and how this challenge has changed your life for the better. So, this is it for me to all of you. Again, you're graduating. This is fantastic. You have worked so hard. I personally wish you the best, that your future will be bright, successful, that you're happy and healthy, and your family and your loved ones, of course. Never lose integrity, stay kind, and remain curious. Step out of your comfort zone, be bold. Life is too beautiful and too short not to take risks. All the best for me to you. I wish I could hug you, each and every one of you today. Celebrate well and speak to you very soon. Stay in touch and if you have any other questions, if you need a mentor, if you want some advice from me, just find me on social media. I know you all have social media. I'm always here, I'm always here for you. And yeah, I'm looking forward to hear from you as well in the future. Bye.